Hello and welcome to the National Timely Action Hour podcast. This is the show where we talk about everything from comic books to the Lord of the Rings and everything in between. I'm your host Aiden, and welcome if you're new. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we are doing Season 2, Episode 1, and I am so excited to get into this with you. So this episode is titled The Superman of the Multiverse. Now, as you can correctly assume, in this episode we are going to be discussing the various different versions of Superman in the DC Comics multiverse. Granted, I won't be doing every single iteration of the character ever published, because that would take far too long, and um, I'd like to keep this at a reasonable length, but, you know, still give you time to do other things. Anyway, so... What I'm going to do is just talk about some of the versions of Superman that I find interesting or that I could just find basic information about. And uh, then, you know, you can listen while you do whatever it is you want to do. And uh, then afterwards, you can like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Share it with your friends. And uh, in the description... I will leave a link to my Patreon page and uh, my main YouTube channel and um, all of my social media accounts as well as my Teespring store. So if you wanted to support this uh, podcast financially, you can become a patron or buy a shirt or a sweater off of my Teespring store. And if you do become a patron, you get early access to episodes of my podcast and videos for YouTube. You also get to send me a message, uh, you can get access to my original writing projects, you can vote on polls, a plethora of wonderful benefits. So thank you in advance if you do decide to support me that way, but otherwise just liking it and subscribing would also be helpful. So as I said, this is season two, episode one. I can't believe we've already completed our first season and, uh... Man, it's been a wild ride getting this podcast uh, started to begin with, and then coming up with ideas on what to talk about for each episode is a odyssey in itself. But I'm pretty proud of how things have turned out, and uh, I hope you are enjoying it. So let's get into this. So let's start at the beginning, as one usually does. So on Earth 1 we meet Cal L, that is spelled K-A-L dash E-L. Now, Earth-1 is the main universe that we follow in DC Comics publications, and uh, Earth-1 originally cr was created in uh, 1954, uh, when uh, DC rebooted The Flash and Green Lantern, creating Barry Allen and Hal Jordan. And it's been destroyed, brought back to life, but... Earth-1 is the main term that you would hear for the main DC universe. So, we all know the origin story of Superman, so his name is Clark Kent, raised in Kansas, reporter at the Daily Planet, Superman, yada yada yada. Then we have Earth-2, which is the original Superman. So, Earth-2, Superman was the one that we first saw in Action Comics number one back in 1938. And um, as I said, the divergence between Earth, you know, the original versions and the Earth One version was in 1954. And again, Earth Two has been the multiverse itself, so every single Earth has been destroyed and brought back to life. So uh, the Earth Two Superman is K A L dash the letter L, so Cal L. And, um, yeah, so he ages at a normal rate rather than main Superman who ages slower. Then on Earth 3, we have Kal-Il, so K-A-L-I-L, and his alias is Ultraman, so he's the evil opposite of Superman from Earth 3. So Earth 3 is the evil opposites of Earth 1 and 2, so... There, Lex Luthor is a hero, and so is the Joker, whereas Superman and Batman are villains named Ultraman and Owlman. Then on Earth 4, we have Alan Adam, a.k.a. Captain Adam. Now, uh, 
this list I got was from the DC Wiki, and this is for a team that Grant Morrison created called the Superman of the Multiverse. So for each universe, there is a counterpart for Superman. And on Earth 4, that is the hero Captain Atom, who was originally owned by Charlton Comics and was created by Spider-Man co-creator Steve Ditko when he worked at Charlton in the 50s and 60s. Uh, but then he devoted most of his time to Marvel for the rest of the 60s, but then he left and worked at DC for a while. And then DC bought Charlton in uh, the early 1980s, so his characters like Captain Atom and The Question and Blue Beetle were folded into the DC proper. So Captain Atom is the Earth 4, and Earth 4 is what they called the Earth that were was where the Charlton characters lived, like a Peacemaker, who was, I forget who made Peacemaker, but, you know, the character that John Cena plays in Suicide Squad 2. Anyway, so then on Earth 5, we have William Batson, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, and yes, I do prefer to call him Captain Marvel because that's his fucking name. Screw you, Marvel Comics. But, uh... Yeah, so Captain Marvel is the equivalent of Superman on Earth-5, and uh, it's ironic because, as you may know from a previous episode, uh, Captain Marvel was accused of being a ripoff of Superman, and so DC sued Fawcett Comics, the publisher of Captain Marvel, and uh, they won and received the character. But uh, yeah, he's the Superman of Earth-5, then on Earth X, or Earth 10, it's the Roman numeral X for the number 10, we have Kal-El, same as the spelling for Earth 2. And uh, on this Earth, Superman, a.k.a. Ubermensch, was um, raised by a certain mustachioed man who does uh, not particularly enjoy the company of Jewish people in the 1930s and 40s in a European country named Germany and uh, yeah so Superman is raised with this man's ideals and he is evil and uh, he's not a good person even though he's Superman but in this he's evil I mean yes he feels regret for the bad things he does but in his mind it's a necessary evil, and that is horrifying. Then we go to Earth-11, and uh, on Earth-11, everyone is gender-swapped, so Wonder Woman's a man, Superman and Batman are women. So we got Laurel Lane as the uh, version of Superman on Earth-11. Uh, then for Earth-12, there is uh, Superman Beyond. So, you know, the show Batman Beyond... Well, their version of Superman is the Superman of Earth-12. Then, on Earth-13, we have Etrigan, the demon, and uh, he is Superman of that universe. Those of you who know Etrigan uh, know that he's a pretty cool character. He was made by Jack Kirby when he moved to uh, DC in the 70s. And uh, he speaks in rhyme, and he shoots Hellfire. He's pretty cool. Then on Earth-14 we have a Superman who we don't know the name of, like legal name of, but uh, we do know that he's an assassin with the League of Assassins. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then on Earth-15 we have General Zod, pretty self-explanatory. Then on Earth-16 we have Christopher Kent, the son of Clark Kent and Lois Lane. And uh, he's... Um, not as powerful as his father, but pretty powerful. Now, please forgive me for uh, any mispronunciation for the next one. On Earth-18, we have uh, Saganoana, a.k.a. Super Chief, who's a Native American chief, who's the Superman of that universe. And uh, he's pretty cool. I haven't read anything with him, but I've seen his design, and he looks pretty badass. Then on Earth-21, same spelling as Earth-2, and uh, this is the Superman we see in Darwin Cook's masterpiece, The New Frontier. And uh, if you haven't seen the animated film adaptation of it, I would definitely recommend it, because it's 
superb. Then on Earth 22, we have Cal L from Kingdom Come. And uh, if you haven't read Kingdom Come, it's a masterpiece, and I would definitely recommend checking out my review on it of for, uh, for YouTube. Pretty proud of it. Then we have Earth 23 Superman, Kal El, which is one word K A L E L, and he's just basically Barack Obama in that universe. So if you ever fantasized about Barack Obama being Superman, Earth 23 is your universe. And uh, then on Earth 26, there's Rodney Rabbit, aka Captain Carrot, who's just basically Bugs Bunny, but Superman. That's pretty cool. Then on Earth 29, we have Bizarro, and that's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, then for Earth 30, we've got Kal-El, same spelling as Earth 2 and Earth X, and uh, 21. And in this universe, Superman was raised by Joseph Stalin, and uh, he believes in the communist ideals, and he is uh, not a good person in that universe. And uh, it's a pretty interesting story. Again, you might want to check out my review of that. Then on Earth-32, we have Cal Johns, a.k.a. Super Martian. And as you can assume, that's a Kryptonian-Martian hybrid between Superman and Martian Manhunter. He's pretty cool looking. I haven't read anything with him, but I would definitely like to. Then we go to Earth-47, and we have Sun. Uh, Sunshine Superman, who's a Superman who is African-American, who has an afro and loves disco music. And uh, he's a pretty fun guy. Then, finally, we have Kal-El from Earth Prime, a.k.a. Superboy Prime. And uh, Superboy Prime is a, uh, basically, Superman as a young man in the real world. So, Earth Prime is our world, where you and I live, and there's only one superhero on that universe, and it's Superboy Prime, and he's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's every notable Superman from an alternate universe. And um, I, they all have pretty much the same powers, uh, barring a few exceptions. But, uh, yeah, I think that this is a cool idea from Grant Morrison to bring together a team of Superman from different alternate universes to fight evil. I want to see more of it, to be completely honest. Uh, we got it only in uh, Final Crisis by Morrison and uh, Multiversity, which is a series that he did with various different artists. And uh, it's pretty cool. I've only seen a couple issues from it, but... Uh, yeah, thank you so much for listening to this episode of my podcast. That wraps up the pilot for Season 2. And, uh, yeah, so thank you, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.